What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In this quick guide, I'll be showing you how you can enable frame generation on Dragon's Dogma 2. Using this very simple, brand new, completely free mod, you're able to add DLSS 3 frame generation to Dragon's Dogma 2, turning 60 or 70 up to 100 plus FPS. It's actually really good. However, the only one side is, is it's only DLSS, which means you'll need an RTX 40 series or above NVIDIA only graphics card. This even I don't have access to, but I'll be showing you how you can install it and get going with it. In the description down below, you'll find a link to Patreon. Don't worry, it's completely free. This link right over here is what you need to click to download Dragon's Dogma 2 DLSS 3 Enabler. There may be an updated version in the future, so just check Pure Dark's profile just to make sure that there's not a newer one available, say version 2, etc. When you have this downloaded, open up the zip and in here you'll find one single DLL. What you need to do with this is open up Steam, search for Dragon's Dogma, right click, manage and choose browse local files. Then inside of here, we'll be looking for sl.interposer and what we'll do is rename this to something like underscore original, something like that, just so we have an original copy of the DLL here. Then from our downloads folder, we'll open the zip and simply drag the DLL into this folder here. If you don't rename the original one, you'll be prompted whether you want to replace it. Should you have replaced it and want to undo installing this mod, in Steam, right click the game, properties, installed files and choose verify. This is going to take a lot longer than simply renaming or replacing the DLL. Anyways, once we've done that, we've now successfully installed the mod and we can fire it up. Now, what you need to do is head across to options, followed by graphics. And in here, we need to enable DLSS super resolution to any option. I'll be setting it to quality for the least impact. And we'll need to also enable reflex low latency. That's it. Once we've done these two options, we can back out, save and continue from our last save. When you get back in game, you'll see that you have a huge increase in frames if you have an RTX 40 series or above graphics card. As I have an RTX 3080 Ti, I don't actually have DLSS 3 frame generation, so there's no difference for me here, unfortunately. As the modification was so small, you can probably guess that frame generation was included in the game, and yeah, to some extent it was. Both FSR 3 and DLSS frame generation are in the game, but just disabled. This mod simply re-enables it. Why was it disabled? Well, probably issues on certain PCs, etc. throughout testing, and of course Capcom in the future will likely be enabling this feature for everyone, so you won't need a mod then. Also, not to mention, in the future, probably over the next few days, there'll be some kind of FSR our frame generation mod so everyone not only amd users or nvidia users but everyone on pretty much all graphics cards will be able to use frame generation to some extent using fsr that i am super excited for but i'm also super thankful that luke fz has released this mod for free so those of you with a rdx 40 series or above graphics card can enjoy a much improved adventure anyways hopefully you found this video useful thank you for watching my name's been troubleshoot and i'll see you all next time ciao